So thank you so much for being on this interview. Um, if you could let everyone know what your name is. Uh, my name is Aaron Amadi Wellington. Aaron Amadi Wellington. And so you are a tr funded trader with Glownode. You have actually been paid out from us five times from what I, I can see. And that's literally just since June. So in the last two months, you've been making consistent profit with us. Uh, and you've been paid over 10,000 US dollars now. And so, yeah, I mean, what's that like? How, how does it feel? It's great, it's great. Um, you know, the journey wasn't easy, you know. It's, it's, it's been a long journey, so I'm glad that I've got to a point where we're able to kind of make consistent profit. So that's, yeah. that's good. So tell us a little bit about your journey. Um, how did you actually get involved in trading? When did you get involved in trading? Um, so, um, what's so your story? Happened. Right? Uh, and after COVID happened, you know, a lot of us had a lot of free time on our hands. Mm -hmm. so we just, I was in, I was in med school at that time. So. In Mexico? No, in med school, in med school. Oh, med school. Right. Okay, yeah. cool. So I started playing around with like regular stocks, you know, so I was playing with, you know, like TD Ameritrade and some few, few prop firms here. And I got to a point I wanted to do day trading. Right, and okay. for stocks, you need to have like twenty five thousand dollars to be able to do right. that that day trading stuff. Surprisingly, I managed to raise that money, but I didn't know what I was doing, so I I lost quite a chunk of it. Okay, and a, and a friend of mine introduced me to to forex trading. I think back that was in twenty twenty, twenty twenty one. Wow. Okay. So it, you're it you're still forex trading. You're still yeah. fairly new to the game, then, really. I'm fairly new. Yeah, I, I haven't been doing this for a while. I've been maybe about three years. Wow, that's, that's crazy. Yeah. yeah. And then I got in, I got involved in forex trading. The good thing about that was, you know, the the leverage that it, it gives you mm -hmm. compared to regular stocks. Yeah. Um, so we started that again, no formal training, just, you know, YouTube videos here and there, try and error. That's um, crazy. Lost, lost a couple of money here and there. Right. <laughs> you say, you say uh, YouTube videos here and there, right? But yeah. I mean, I've seen your accounts. You're extremely consistent. So I'm, I'm assuming it was more than just here and there. You, you must have really studied this market, right? I did study the market. I'm not gonna. Lie. <laughs> yeah. Really study the market. Sleepless nights. Uh, yeah, I was on weekends drawing the chart, really trying to study the market, trying, trying to understand the trend, mm -hmm. and you know, using all these different indicators, trying to figure out how this thing works. Because right. you know, you see people on YouTube, they're not better than you, but they're still making it. So I'm like, yeah. what am I doing wrong? You know? Yeah. So yeah, until until I got to a point where I figured out my strategy, what works for me. Right. And since I had that, I've just been consistently doing the exact same thing. Yeah. You know? Would you be able to share your strategy with us today? Yeah. I mean, it's honestly not that complicated. Trust me. It's not. So I use the RSI. Okay. Right. I use the RSI and I usually, so my two accounts, I do two different strategies. Yes. We've account. seen that actually. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So on one of the account, um, I use the RSI. Okay. So the RSI, I look at the higher time frame. So I, I, the minimum time frame I use is four hours. Right. Um, so I look at the four hour time frame and basically same kind of support resistance kind of thing. So once my RSI, most people use 70, I use 75, 25. Um, so once my RSI reach about 75, right, then I start looking for like selling opportunities. Okay. And so then I look for like a, a good resistance level. So once I see a good resistance level, then I'm just going to get into like a small lot size because this right. is going to be a very long trade, mm -hmm. right? So a small lot size and my my profit is maybe about, you know, 500 pips or 50 pips, however you want to calculate mm -hmm. it. Um, and then my stop loss is also maybe also on like 50, 50 or 500 pips. So once it starts moving in my direction, once it actually turns around and coming down, then I double down and then nice. move my stop loss to break even on the first one. Yeah. And then just let it, and just let it drop or let it buy or however which direction it's going. That's amazing. So that, that's, that's how I did. And it has been consistent. It has been. So sometimes it doesn't hit it as early as I want it to hit. Mm -hmm. uh, like right now, I'm in, I'm in a trade right now where, you know, it has really gone up high and it has to drop. It's going to drop. Right. Um, I'm just being patiently waiting for it to drop and then I can just cash out. 
So yeah, so that that is one strategy that I use. Um, the other strategy that I use actually, I have these boots that I've been working with, um, which I had my friend kind of design for me. Um, mm -hmm. So it has also been very very consistent. It has some other um, indicators already embedded in them. Um, so which is what I've been using. Okay, it's also very very profitable. It makes small profits, but it accumulates pretty good. Yeah, well, yeah, again, we've noticed that as well. So um, it's funny because I have always found that um, it's, it's always the boring strategies that work the best, right? It's the stuff that you're not looking too deep into the market. You just have to find those simple moves and, and just stick with that strategy. And, and it's like, uh, a lot of people make fun of me because I use just support resistance and, uh, and, and all I basically do is I understand when the market is moving up, that it usually has a pullback and then continuation. Right. So all I do is in an uptrending market, I wait for a pullback and then I try and find that continuation and I buy. And it's it's literally as simple as that. There's no sort of secret to to trading. There's no. Um, and, and, and for me, I mean, I've tried ICT. I've tried all the different indicators and there's some strategies that really work. I mean, my previous strategy was just two indicators. And when they cross each other, I either buy or sell, depending on when if the small one crosses above the big one yep. I buy if the small one crosses yeah. below the small one the big one it, it, I sell and um, and that for me was also consistent depending on how I'm feeling and how long I'm holding the trades and all those kinds of things as well so it, it I think you're right it's it's not about trying to find that crazy out of this world strategy it's just being consistent and and doing the same thing over and over and over again uh which i mean we can see from your accounts that you very clearly do um so the next thing i want to ask you is how do you get the right mindset for trading what what makes you actually get involved in trade and when you t start taking losses because i i know you take fairly few losses but when you do what makes you stop and and not take another trade? Because I see a lot of people, they will start revenge trading, they start overthinking the market, they start waiting for the next pullback and the, and the next support or resistance area and start uh, revenge trading basically. What, so, yeah, what gets you in the right mindset? Mine is basically it's experience because okay. I've done that. <laughs> right, okay, cool. <laughs> I have done that, you know, you yeah. get to market and get, it gets slapped in the face. You're like, no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna come in again, and you come in hot like, and you, it, it never works. Yeah, it never works. And one thing I have realized is that small, consistent profit is the way to go. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, majority of us, before we got involved into forex market, we saw something that you know attracted us. Um, in my case, a friend of mine told me that you know they make a lot of money in it and they bought some new cars and all that stuff so I'm like oh you know there must be a lot of money here mm -hmm. and so and if you're if you're coming in from Facebook or YouTube you see people with flashiness and all that stuff you're like oh I need to make money like I need to make a million dollar yet like yesterday yeah you know? mm -hmm. and so you start going in with bigger lot size size that doesn't even make sense the account size mm -hmm. right and then and then you start blowing your account yeah but when you learn that small consistent profit is the way to go yeah. and you just have to be patient and let it happen yeah you know? and to be honest I, and that is that is kind of my advice to everyone really is no big trader i mean if you look at all these hedge funds warren buffett the biggest traders in the world they're making maybe 20 30 percent a year so how do people believe they're going to come into this market when the big guys can't make a hundred percent how do people believe right. that they're going to flip these small accounts and make thousands of percent a year? It's just not sustainable, right? Yeah, and, and I mean, with, with you, uh, well, I mean, like we've already seen, every two weeks, so guys, every single two weeks, on a Friday now, <laughs> we know Aaron's getting a payout, right? Because um, it's, he's just so consistent, and and it is those small profits every single every single time. They just build up, build up, build up, and, and we've seen, uh, I mean, you're almost at the point now where you're about to scale your account, which is really cool. I think you are going to be the first person with Glono to scale their account. Wow. 
Oh, um, that's so that's going to be really cool. I'm really excited <laughs> to see that as well. Uh, and then, of, of course, we will up your profit split to 90% as well. Um, uh, so that's going to be nice. <laughs> um, but yeah, so it, and what I love about your strategy is you are literally making about five, six, seven percent per month at the moment and you're not shooting for 20%, 30%, 40%. So yeah, I guess my next thing is, obviously we, we spoke about not uh, revenge trading, but what actually makes you stop trading once you've made profits as well? What makes you not be greedy and, and continue to try and make even more profits? And again, my answer will be, I have done that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> cool. <laughs> I have done that, yeah. yeah. Right. You get in the market, especially like 9.30 bill, you know, it's, you get a, a good setup, you get in, you make a good money. Mm -hmm. And then maybe at 11 o'clock, you're like, oh, I see how that set up. And then, you know, even though you made enough for the week, mm -hmm. you still want to go and grab that and you get, yeah. yeah. So <laughs> I, I, I have learned a couple of things along the way. Cool. And I, I not to repeat my mistakes. Sure. <laughs> it seems like you're a very fast learner though, because a lot of people make these mistakes. And I mean, to be honest, I'll hold my hands up. I still make some of these mistakes now, even after seven years of trading. So, um, <laughs> so yeah, I, I feel like you, you're a very fast learner. Congratulations for that for one. But also what sort of, uh, like when do you stop uh, yourself? Do you have set targets that you have per day, per week? Do you, uh, have like a monthly goal. Is there anything that makes you think, right, this is enough now? What What is it that actually uh, goes on in your head as a trader to, to stop? So it depends on the strategy that I use. My current strategy is my EP, right? My, my take profit. Mm -hmm. uh, once I hit my take profit, I'm done. I okay. don't care where the market is going. Yeah. And is that for the, that day? And then you'll carry on the next day or? No, because no, I don't trade every day. I, okay. I go, so most of my account, I do like, you know, I'm a swing trader. Okay. So, and mostly because of my profession, I don't have time to trade every day. So mm -hmm. I just get a good setup. I go into a small loss, like a small, like small lot size, set up my take profits and, you know, stop losses. And I let it ride. Okay. Sometimes it takes three days, sometimes it takes a week to, yeah. to hit my profit. But once I'm out, I'm not looking to get in in the same direction because I know that I'm using my RSI, right? So if let's say the current trade going on now is a sell, yeah, right. So I'm, I'm in sell positions right now. Once my t my take profits are on like thirty four thousand on the US thirty. Okay. So once I hit my thirty four thousand on the US thirty, I'm out of those trades, mm -hmm. and I'm be waiting for another setup. Now I'm waiting for a buy setup. So uh, okay. you know, it could drop to I don't know thirty two thousand. I don't care. I'm not get. I'm not getting in. Nice. Right? Okay. So not until it dropped to a level that I wanted to drop to, twenty five percent or twenty five on the RSI mm -hmm. with a good support down there, telling me that it's about to make a trend. Nice. That's the, that's the really cool. Then I get in again. Cool. Right? So I don't I don't trade daily, and I always make sure that my setup are in line if I get into the market. Yeah, no, that's really cool to hear actually because um, yeah, I, f I feel like a lot of people try and catch the whole trend and they're very scared of, I mean, you get that FOMO, right? That fear of missing yeah. out that um, it could keep going further. It could keep going further or maybe you see a small pullback and you think, oh, it's, I can get in again for a sell, but that might be the end of that sell, right? <laughs> so, um, so yeah, that's really cool that you, that you sort of set yourself those limits and, um, and you're basically just, uh, you're riding each direction of the trend, if that makes sense. So right. when it's going down, so when it's hit that resistance, you're wait, waiting for it to go down and then you're literally waiting for the next support to take a buy. Um, exactly. I think I think that is really cool actually. Um, and yeah. I might have to change my strategy to that. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, so um, no, that's really cool. So what are your goals? What are your, like, what's the next step for you as a trader? Um, are you looking to do this full time or do you want to finish uh, your, uh, you're doing medicine at the moment? Um, yeah, I'm actually, I, I'm actually a, a doctor right now, yeah. You are a doctor? 
Yeah. Amazing. Congratulations for that. <laughs> That's really cool. It, 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 well, yeah, I mean, is that your goal for the future? Do you want to be a doctor forever? Is it, or are you going to become a, a Forex trader full time? What's the goal? So I, I do enjoy my work in the hospital. Um, so, and because my strategy doesn't really take a lot of my time, mm -hmm. honestly, I just, I see a setup, I put it in, I just let it run. So I think I'm still going to hang on to my, my medicine a little bit, nice. even though I'm currently making with all my other problems combined, mm -hmm. I think I, I'm making okay. good money. <laughs> yeah, I bet. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, I bet. But, uh, yeah, but I'm going to, I'm going to keep my medicine. Cool. For now, and then just, this is your retirement fund. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Oh, that way, yeah. Cool. Yeah. Well, look, how how has your journey been with Glownode so far? Oh, you guys have been awesome. Yeah. Um, cool. I appreciate yeah, that. I have I have other program that I work with that I've been involved with, and and I'll say you guys are probably the fastest when it comes to the payouts. Thank you. Um, I mean, the thing is, when once we've got your your details on there, it's very easy. As soon as I see, I mean, I know Fridays you're getting a payout, so I just see your name on there, and I'm like, yeah, fine, <laughs> send it to the deal, and and that's it. It's it's done. So yeah, yeah we we have been and, pretty and quick. I appreciate that. I really really appreciate that because there are some problems that. I don't know why they make it a challenge. Right. You know? Sure. Yeah. But I mean, we appreciate you as well. So uh, yeah, we, we thank you for being a part of our community. Uh, we thank you for, for being consistent as well, because, you know, <laughs> we, we, we also make some money from you too. Um, <laughs> so we appreciate that. And uh, I'm, I'm, I'm very much looking forward to seeing how you progress as a trader. I'm very much looking forward to uh, offering you that bigger account size as well um, and scaling your account. So, um, yeah, it's, it's been great to have you on this call as well. And, and hopefully other people that are watching this can can learn from you as well um so yeah much appreciated man thank you so much for being here thank you thank you for having me <laughs> all right i'll speak to you soon all right thanks